Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. My name is Benjamin Joel Martineau. Uh, Bishop recently reached out to me, so I figured I'd start coming back to church. I want to share a little bit about myself and my uh, faith history, and I want to close with my testimony. Uh, I was born in the Covenant to goodly parents. Uh, I have 12 siblings, uh, and my Mormon roots run really deep. Uh, Joel Hills Johnson, who is my middle namesake, wrote the hymn, High on a Mountaintop. I served my mission in the Russia Rostov na Danu mission. It was uh, a couple of the best years of my life, very memorable and uh, life changing. I became a man on my mission. After my mission, uh, I went to BYU in Provo, where I met my wife. Uh, we got married in the Salt Lake Temple, where she served her mission. And we currently live in Vienna Woods with our three beautiful children. About four years ago, we were in Salt Lake City uh, attending a baby blessing for one of our relatives. While there, I visited uh, my best friend from college. His name is Trevor. Recently, Trevor had been sharing things on Facebook, uh, articles and posts and whatnot, that seemed to disagree with how the church viewed gay marriage. And that was concerning to me. Uh, so during lunch, I confronted him about his Facebook posts. Uh, he confided with me that he no longer believed in the truth claims of the church. I was shocked. I encouraged him to remember his mission and remember his temple covenants. Uh, and I asked him why he no longer believed. He shared a number of issues with me about church history, church doctrine, uh, and scientific facts. And when he told me, uh, I knew they could all be reconciled because, after all, the church is true. So I told him I'd get back with him. I went home and I prayed and thought about it. And I decided the best way to help Trevor would be to approach his issues, his issues with an unbiased approach. I decided to imagine that I knew nothing about the church. And I would objectively weigh the evidence and the testimony of both sides of the things that he had brought up with me. I was inspired by J. Reuben Clark, who said, quote, if we have the truth, it cannot be harmed by investigation. If we have not the truth, it ought to be harmed. The first issue that Trevor had brought up was about the book of Abraham. Now, if you open your quad right now, uh, there in the back in the Pearl of Great Price is the book of Abraham, um, which starts out. The translation of some ancient records that have fallen into our hands from the catacombs of Egypt the writings of Abraham while he was in Egypt, called the Book of Abraham, written by his own hand upon papyrus. There are five chapters along with three facsimiles. You've always seen the little uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs there. Trevor claimed that the Book of Abraham was not translated, as Joseph said. He claimed that the papyrus that Joseph Smith purchased for thousands of dollars were simply common funerary scrolls. And he further claimed that the facsimiles had absolutely nothing to do with the translation that is within the book of Abraham, and that both uh, the zero Egypto Egyptologists, it's a hard word, zero Egyptian experts in the world agreed um, that the book of Abraham was a correct translation. I studied this issue for months, like literally. I, I, I Googled, I went to my bishop, I got on the BYU, like the, the archives, I went to journals, I, I, LDS.org, everything. Um, and what did I find out? I found out that Trevor was actually right. The Book of Abraham was in a translation. In fact, the church itself, as says on LES.org, none of the characters on the papyrus mentions Abraham, Abraham's name, or any of the events recorded in the Book of Abraham. Mormon and non-Mormon Egyptologists agree that the characters on the fra fragments do not match the translation given in the Book of Abraham. I discovered that the scrolls and facsimiles were indeed actually just common funerary scrolls that had been found with other mummies and uh, were purchased by t for $2,400, which is about $60,000 in today's money. I was defeated. Uh, I, was, I couldn't resolve this issue. And it, it, was, it was the one at the top of his list, but he had given a, given a litany of them. I decided to move on to the next one. He said Joseph Smith had dozens of wives like Brigham Young, some as young as 14 and 17, and he didn't tell Emma about it, and he even lied publicly about it. I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to research. Same thing, back to the books. 
met, met with, you know, parents, bishop, the whole nine yards. And again. I'm going to ask you to conclude with your testimony, please. Bishop is asking you to conclude with my testimony. I believe that you can live good, fulfilling, honest lives without having an association with religion. I believe that men and women are completely equal. I believe that people should be allowed to, to marry who they want. I believe. I invite you to have a seat. Thank you for the meeting.
property I know that they have. these board boundaries. Really? And I know that they have one here locally. The number two guy, the number two was a member of this ward, and actively yeah. proselyted out of this I had it. I've the definitely heard of that. The head of the church history department <laughs> and Dallin A. Jones. So probably you don't know that that's kind of No, I had no what idea. You walked into. <laughs> But anyway, I, I, I've been I've been three or four times over the past couple years. Yeah, and I would just share that there you're not there's lots of people. It's actually an amazing board, and I would just say that I'm one of those people that is my dad actually taught me I'm keen. Like he taught us all those things, and I don't know all the answers, and I choose to stay because I think there's so much to learn. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> so that anyway, my name's Janine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Janine. I appreciate that it's a good friend. It is. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. My testimony, even. Is there no room for my testimony? This is testimony of the Savior. This is testimony of the gospel. This isn't a forum for the kinds of things you wanted to talk about. You have plenty of forums for that. This is not one of them. Is there room for my beliefs? Even though some of my beliefs may run contrary to the general. Sure. You're happy to come, have you come and participate. You just cannot say things that are contrary to the positions of the church and, and Savior's church from the pulpit. I'd say this too, Ben. You know, I've heard all that stuff, but you heard those people that spoke before you, and they just come with some real heartfelt, every, you know, kind of uplifting stuff. And there's certainly controversial things in the church. All of us are aware of that. This just isn't the right medium for it. It just isn't. I mean, I, I don't know if you can feel when John Lewis gets up there, he's struggling with some stuff. I could, I, I, I can some, appreciate that. Yeah, but it's, you, you, you've been in the church and you know, you know what, what the testimony is. And so, anyways, I think everybody just would like to, to hear those kind of things. That's just fine. Go ahead. I won't do it again. What's that? I won't do it again. That's appreciated. So, but I mean, I think, I hope you feel welcome coming here. I don't, I don't know, you know. It, What's the next meeting? There's a place for everyone, you know. So. Where's a, a gospel locker now? Uh, Release site. Perfect. I'll go there next. Okay, great. I, I'm re I am descended from his brother, okay. Benjamin F. Johnson. My name is Benjamin. What's that? My name is Benjamin. There you go. <laughs> uh, Julie Hills has a book, a big, giant, thick, round book, all about his diaries. Uh huh. Well, ben, yeah, Benjamin F. Johnson wrote his uh, My Life Review also. So it's all, um, yeah. I mean, it's, just, it's a fascinating book about his his life history and his story. So. Oh, cool. Well, nice to meet you, Cuz. Good to meet you, too. I'm sorry you feel no, that way, man. Uh, you gave the testimony? I did. Why did you do that? Why would you come into a meeting like this and do that? Well, I wanted to share my faith journey and my beliefs. Well, we don't do that as a testimony meeting. You, I've been a missionary all my life. You do it by talking to people in vision. You have every right to believe whatever you want, say what you want. But when you come in here, what that did is bring the terrible spirit into the meeting. Every one of us, ooh, like this. You can have your own opinion. You can, you can live the way you want. God says that. We believe that. But not in a sacrament, my friend. I've been bishop, I would have... Got you down yeah. sooner than that. Okay.
you're, you're welcome to come to Gospel Guy. I don't know what I happened know. there. What happened there? Did Brother Thompson catch you? Ah, he's, he's just a little grumpy man. Yeah, uh, well, you know, he, like I said, you knew exactly what you were doing. I mean, you've been in the church, served a mission. You know, you know the, what was going on there. Well, I, so, was, I wasn't sure if my end testimony was going to be. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to share the fact that I have beliefs that are maybe not consistent with the yeah, churches. I, th I think you probably could, but I think when you start off with the book of Abraham, the first part, you're right. The first Joseph part Smith was, and his uh, wife, we got kids there. You read about them on the internet after your mission later in life. I read about them after my, on the internet later in life, and you got a bunch of kids there, so the form is just wrong. And you, yeah. gotta, you know that. You know, you're just, you know what you're doing. That's what I say. You, I, I don't know your background that well, but I know you served a mission, married in the temple. That means you know exactly what you're doing in there. I tried to make it as kosher as possible. No, we got kids in there. You know that. You know that was not kosher. You've been in the church long enough. You know exactly what you're doing. Apo and, apologies if, uh, if 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 I cross the line. Yeah, I got kids in. There. I got a nine year old. I mean, that's just how I feel. So that's it, you know, Bishop handled himself well. I think he let you. You know, maybe you went on a little too long, but yeah. I mean, all that stuff you're doing, we've all read about it. No, it's not new to anybody. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the adults, the adults. I'm not trying to necessarily introduce. I'm just sharing my. Uh, no, again, my, I, I disagree. I think you know my, exactly my, what you're doing. That's my not, faith story, and then what my current beliefs are. Were, was, was the plan? Yeah, but you, you just kind of how I got there. Brother Lewis gets up there and shares that. You know, they're going through stuff. There's a sister before you that's going through stuff, and you get up there. And you, not that you're not going through stuff, right? So you got things you want to say. It's not the right form. My faith has definitely gone through some stuff. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Once again, uh, I won't do it again. I, I, I won't. Appreciate I that. won't participate in uh, the sacrament unless I have things to say that are directly in line with the church's. Uh, I appreciate narrative. that. I, I think what people are, you know, it's, it's testimony. I mean, it is a different meaning than other places, but people are coming to be uplifted. They're not coming for that stuff. We get that stuff all week long. I mean, it's it's not to the adults in there. Most of them know about it, but you get up in there and do that with kids. It's just. I don't know what to say. It's just I don't know, you, wrong you, you took it pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, I, I got kids in there. And um, and what, and should, the, should some of it, what, what I said, not be like like yeah, like I'll when teach, I said that he like I'll teach my Joseph kids about Joseph Smith. Prolific, I'll teach them about that when I want to. Gotcha. Okay. I, I don't need you, anybody else, teaching my kids about that stuff. That, I'm a parent. I don't. Fair need enough. That. I mean, you don't. You, you're just thinking about yourself out there. That's the problem. And we all got stuff we're going through, no matter where we are, right? Yeah. And so that's why I think that's the problem. So yeah, you don't you don't agree with that? How old are your kids? I got kids from primary to one getting married this summer. I got five kids there in every one of these organizations. Gotcha. So. Well, fair enough. Well, like I said, I'm uh, happy to refrain in the future and. Uh, I, 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 I definitely tried to tone it down as much as I could to make it kosher, but I yeah, appeared to no, fail in my attempt. You totally failed in your attempt. Uh, it, it, you, your I, attempt. I, 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 had, I, I don't even believe when you say you attempted to tone it down. When you're going to start talking about Joseph Smith and his plural wives, please. Everybody knows Brigham had many wives. No, my nine-year-old daughter doesn't. She doesn't? Really? Yeah. Nope. I can, I'll teach that when it's age appropriate. Okay. I wasn't aware of that. I, 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 I had You think the five-year-olds in there wife. know about it? I, I had you think the five year, no, you Brigham think the five year olds in our sacrament even know about that? I don't want to get it. You know, I don't know. You're right. It's turning sour. I don't want I, it like I don't that. Know. You're welcome here. I mean, we have people. We got people that believe in a lot of different things that come, but they don't come to intentionally disrupt. It won't happen again. Okay, appreciate that. I get a couple of days off this week. Fair enough. <laughs> It'll be great. Okay. <laughs> After I, I was told by one of the, the ladies that this, that I, I was unaware. Apparently, uh, the Denver stuffer folks started here in this morning. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, that's why we're that, all. This is that was. Uh, I, I didn't know that. That yeah. that may we got, have. We got multiple families in this ward, Denver ward, that left, and other people that it was disrupted. But that's you know what? That's all fine. Nobody came here a sacrament. I, I definitely knew about. nothing about that. So that's that was shocking to me. So really? that, I, I may have. May have done things differently, knowing that this board really? yeah. has a history of uh, stuff. No, I just encourage you to think of the families out there and what they're going through, and the kids, and you know whatever form you need to express yourself. That's just what it is. And that's, my issue is you know that. 
Just, I think you do because you served a mission. I'm just guessing. I don't know that. I guess I shouldn't say you know that. I wanted to share I my you know story, and I didn't think that my story was um, highly offensive. I thought it was a story that many have gone through. Mm -hmm. It was not an uncommon story. I, I don't it's, disagree. It's Wrong a very form. personal Wrong form. story that's affected me and my faith in my life very, very heavily and yep. very much, and it's, it's very important to me. What? Then let me ask you this, because I serve with the bishop. We've all read Rust, Stone, Rolling. I've read Sacred Why, you know, Sacred Loneliness. I don't know if you've heard of that book. I've read a lot of things, and Bishop has too. Why not go meet with him and talk to him about it? If you've got issues with those kind of things. One on one. I, I, I'm not here to necessarily vent my issues. It was more my purpose was to share my story. Yeah, but you were venting issues up there. Uh, that's what I think it was the, that's probably what. Issues are, some of the church issues are part of my story, and uh, I, I'm sorry if it came off inventing. I don't know how else to, you know, just, I just think you knew it was wrong for him. I see. Well, I failed in my attempts to kosher it up. To what? To keep it kosher. I would agree. It was, it was, it was agree. six minutes exactly, and I, I tried to, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, I hoped to make it all the way through. In I fact, I made it three quarters through, so it was, it was very nearly over. Okay. Right. Well, you just didn't yes. know how long it was going to go. You had a prepared message, and that's yeah. not Certainly. typical in testimony meeting either. So. Yes. yes. Okay. Do you two know each other? Yeah. yeah. I'm a teacher. Oh, good. So, all right. Okay. So I thought he moved, though. I'm sorry. I moved for a little bit. Did you? Back, Back in the same house. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. So. You need to stick around, or? Yeah, I was going to go to Sunday school. You want to go? Yeah, well, i got, I got to go make sure my kids all made it to, to all right. Yeah, since this might be in the bathroom, might be. And I'll join you. That's all right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what to say about it, but let's go to the doctor. That's good. Fair enough.